Hello there. So today, my air conditioning stopped working. The thermostat worked, and the condenser unit turned on, but the blower fan was not operating at all. The first thing I did was to unplug the blower motor from the control board and connect it to power manually, and it worked fine. So the thermostat worked, the fan worked, and the control board was on, you could tell by the little red indicator light, but it was not supplying power to the fan motor. And in my case, when you turn the thermostat on, you could hear the relay on the control board close with a click. So the logic of the control board was working as well. This left me with only two possible scenarios. Either the relay contacts were damaged and not conducting electricity, or the control board's actual printed circuits were damaged. And as you can see here, the joints on the back of the blower relay are very obviously broken. Fortunately, that's a very simple fix. Now the back side of this board is potted in a gelatinous material, but it comes off very easily with the wire brush. Now, unfortunately, one of these wire traces has popped off the board, and I don't really think there is a good way to get it back on the board. So what we have to do is expose some of the wire trace near it, and we can use that for a secure connection. I'm using a, a box knife, and with a very gentle scraping, you want to expose the copper. Be very careful not to scrape the copper off the board because it's less than paper thin. This is what it should look like. A clean strip of copper all the way up to the joint that we're interested in. Here I have some solid core tinned copper wire, and I'm going to shape it to match the shape of the trace going up to the joint, and put a little loop at the end that'll actually go around the pin sticking through the board that'll make it really secure. Now that's done, time to work on the next one. I decided to scrape some of the varnish off of the trace, even though the trace was fine, but uh, the hole where the pin goes through was a little larger than I would have liked, and obviously this particular joint is under a lot of strain. So if we make the pad a little bit bigger, we can get more solder onto it and make it a much more secure joint.
And that's about it. Now all we have to do is put it back together, put it back in the furnace, and it should work. Pro tip, if you're going to attempt something like this yourself, take pictures of the wires before you unplug them. Take lots of pictures. It will help. Otherwise, you're going to have to go and determine which color wire is which color fan speed, and then there's a couple of other little wires in this one. Like, it has also a... My particular one has the humidifier running on the uh, electric air filter circuit, and then it has, like, another transformer. I don't even know what it does. Yeah, take pictures. It will make your life easier. And it works. Of course it works. Probably took me half an hour to diagnose, repair, and reinstall. Pretty quick fix. Hey, if you liked this video, don't forget to like this video. Consider subscribing, and thanks for watching.